Hello, remote eighth graders. Today I am back to read to you Act 2, Scene 4. Um, but first, as always, I would like to do some reviewing of what happened last in Scene 3. If my notes would come up. There we go. So, as you know, um, we've got a feud going on between two families. Um, Romeo and Juliet have met and um, they have decided to get married. Um, the last, here we go. Um, we had the balcony scene where they met up and they um, exchanged vows to get married. After that, Romeo ran away to Friar Lawrence's cell to help, uh, to ask him to help Juliet. Sorry, I'm gonna, oh, no, that makes sense. Okay. Um, to ask Friar Lawrence to help Juliet and him get married. And they are planning on getting married tomorrow. The friar says yes because he wants to to end the feud that's his idea but keep in mind that the parents don't know about them getting married so this probably isn't going to help the feud so now we're on act two scene four we're in the streets of verona and it's one day morning and it is almost noontime and in this scene we have benvolio mercutio romeo tybalt the nurse and peter All right, so um, right now, um, Mercutio and Benvolio are upset because Romeo has ditched them. They haven't seen him since the party, um, and the last time they saw him, he ditched them to go see Juliet. So Mercutio and Benvolio are kind of bantering back and forth, and they are um, irritated that Romeo has left them. Mercutio says, where the devil is Romeo? Came he not home tonight? He says, where is Romeo? Benvolio says, not to his father's, I spoke to his servant. Mercutio says, tis that pale, hard-hearted wench, Rosaline, she doth torture him, and he surely will go mad. So Mercutio says that um, he is with Rosaline, because he doesn't know about Juliet yet. Um, and he calls Rosaline a wench, which is not a very nice word for a woman. Um, but he says that that's where Romeo is, and that she's torturing him. Benvolio answers by saying, Tybalt, kinsman to old Capulet, has sent a letter to his father's house. So Benvolio informs Mercutio that um, Tybalt has sent a letter to Romeo's father's house, and it's a threatening le letter, and he wants to fight him. Mercutio says, tis a challenge on my life. So they, uh, Tybalt has challenged Romeo to a duel, a sword fight. Um, and that's what the letter said that he sent to, to Romeo's father's house. Benvolio continues, Romeo will answer it. Mercutio says, any man that can write may answer a letter. Benvolio, nay, he will answer the letter's master. So he, Benvolio defends his cousin and says, Romeo could, could take Tybalt. He could, you know, take him in a fight and he could win the fight. Mercutio says, is he man enough to fight Tybalt? Benvolio says, why, what kind of man is Tybalt? So Mercutio is saying that I think Tybalt could take Romeo in a fight. And Benvolio is defending his cousin saying, no, I think Romeo could take Tybalt in a fight. And now they're going to talk a little bit about Tybalt and what kind of a fighter he is. Mercutio says he's a master duelist. So Tybalt, our villain, is a very good fighter. He is like a duelist. He's very skilled with his sword. Now Romeo enters. Benvolio, here comes Romeo. Mercutio is making fun of Romeo. He's also mad at Romeo because he bailed on them last night. Said his flesh looks like a fish. It must be lover's poetry that makes him so. So he's saying that he he looks like he hasn't slept. He doesn't he doesn't look very good. Romeo says, Good morrow to you both. Says, Good morning. Mercutio, Romeo, you gave us the slip last night. You bailed on us last night, Mercutio says. Romeo says, pardon, good Mercutio, my business was important, and in such a case as mine, a man may strain courtesy. So he says, I'm sorry, Mercutio, that I that I bailed on you last night, but um, I had important business. He was with a woman. Mercutio says, nay, thou may stra strain thy buttocks if thou wilt curtsy. He's just mad that Romeo bailed on them last night. He's kind of just making fun of him. He's 
making a also a joke about the butt <laughs> in that. Romeo says, a most courteous act to curtsy. Mercutio says, indeed, I am the very pink of courtesy. Romeo says, the pink flower. So they're making some sexual jokes there um, about what Romeo did last night. Mercutio continues, he, and after they're doing some, some joking, some goofing around, um, Mercutio notices that Romeo is no longer sad. So he asks why Romeo is no longer sad. He says, why is this jest not better than groaning for love? Now art thou sociable. Now art thou Romeo. Said you weren't acting yourself before because you were lovesick, but now you're acting more normal. The nurse now enters and she has brought with her her servant, Peter. Romeo says, here's something fun. So here's here's the nurse. And this is what the nurse looks like in one of the movies. So in this scene, she walks in and she has this like long veil thing going on. And um, it's kind of blowing in the wind. And Benvolio and Mercutio are going to take this opportunity to make fun of her. Benvolio says, a sail, a sail. He's basically calling her fat, making fun of her clothing. The nurse says, Peter, my fan, Peter. So she asks her, her servant who's holding this veil here. Um, she asks her servant for her, her fan. It's hot out. It's like a summer day in Verona. Mercutio says, good Peter, give her the fan to hide her ugly face. So Mercutio just comes out with a straight up uh, insult to the nurse. And she, he is very mean to the nurse throughout this scene. The nurse says, God ye good morrow, gentle, gentlemen. She says, good, good morning. Mercutio says, good afternoon, fair gentlewoman. The nurse says, is it afternoon? Mercutio says, the lusty hand of the dial is now on the prick of noon. So he's making a, a joke, uh, a sexual joke, like at her, basically, about what time it is. You can see what this word stands for over here. The nurse says, how darest you? What kind of man are you? She's offended by this joke. Mercutio says, gentlewoman, I am a man God has made to ruin. So he's like, I'm just, I'm a joker and I'm just like making fun of you, basically. The nurse says, it is well said that God made thee to ruin. Gentlemen, can any of you tell me where I may find the young Romeo? So she says, I need to talk to Romeo. Where is Romeo? Romeo says, I am Romeo, though no longer as young as I was when thou first started looking for me. So Romeo says, here I am. The nurse says, if you be he, then I desire some confidence with you. So I desire to speak privately with you. So this is Juliet's nurse. And she has come to talk to Romeo about this wedding. So she has learned of their wedding and is trying to help them out. So the nurse is asking to speak privately with Romeo. So Benvolio and Mercutio leave. In the play, they make even more fun of the nurse before they leave. They sing a song uh, around, like at her expense, making fun of her, and they kind of dance around her. And, and just like mock her. The nurse says, my young lady bid me search you out. What she bade me say, I will keep to myself. But first, let me tell ye, if ye should fill her with false promises, it would be a very gross kind of behavior. For the gentlewoman is young, and therefore, if you should deal double with her, truly, it were an ill thing to be offered to any gentlewoman. So the nurse starts in on Romeo right away, and she says to him, you better not mess with my daughter. Because remember, the nurse is kind of like Juliet's mom. Um, you better not mess with my daughter. She is young um, and you should not deal double with her. So he, she gives him a warning about um, messing around with Juliet. Romeo answers her by saying, nurse, commend me to thy lady. I swear unto thee. Says, I like, I love her and I, you know, I want to marry her and do good by her. She says, tell me good, good things. Uh, tell Juliet good things about me. Please, you know, make me sound like a good guy to her. The nurse says, thou hast a good heart, and in faith I will tell her as much. Lord, Lord, she, she will be a joyful woman. Romeo says, what wilt thou tell her now, nurse? Thou dost not mark me. Nurse says, I will tell her that you propose a gentleman-like offer. So I will tell her that you do want to get married and that we'll make a plan to make this 
wedding happen. Romeo says, bid her devise some way to come to shrift or confession this afternoon, and here she shall at Friar Lawrence's cell be shrived or absolved of sin or forgiven of sin and married. So Romeo tells the nurse, please have her come to the church, a Friar Lawrence's cell. Friar Lawrence's cell is like right below the church and have her come. We'll, do, we'll confess our sins and then we'll be married. He tries to give her some coins before he leaves and says, here is for thy pain. The nurse says, no, truly, sir, not a penny. Like, you can't, don't pay me. Um, and I just, you know, I just delivered the message. So they are making a plan for Romeo and Juliet to get married today. Romeo says, I say you shall. The nurse takes the money and says, this afternoon, sir, she shall be there. So she's going to bring Juliet to Romeo so they can get married this afternoon. Romeo continues by saying, Stay, good nurse. Within the hour, my servant shall come to thee behind the abbey wall and give thee a rope ladder, which will be my joyful path to Juliet this night. Farewell. Commend me to thy mistress. So Romeo says, all right, so today we're going to get married. She's going to come to Friar Lawrence's cell. He's going to help us get married tonight. Uh, later, actually within, sorry, within the hour. So within the next hour, Romeo is going to send his servant to meet the nurse by the Capulet Orchard wall. And the servant is going to give the nurse a rope ladder so that Juliet can spend the night with, uh, so sorry, so that Romeo can spend the night with Juliet in her room um, and they can have their wedding night together. So the nurse is helping Romeo make this happen. He's going to have his servant deliver a ladder to the nurse and the nurse is going to put this ladder out the window so Romeo can come climb up the ladder and spend the night with his new wife. The last page. Okay. The nurse says, God in heaven bless thee. Hark you, sir. Romeo says, what sayest thou, my dear nurse? The nurse says, is your servant trustworthy? Hast thou never heard the saying, two can keep a secret only if one of them is dead? So the nurse says, is your servant trustworthy? And, you know, is he going to tell anybody about this? Romeo says, my man is as true as steel. This is a simile. So he will not tell anyone he's as true as steel. The nurse says, good, sir. My mistress is the sweetest lady. There is a nobleman in town, Count Paris, who wants to claim Juliet as his. But Juliet, good soul, would prefer to look at a toad more uh, than him. I anger her sometimes and say he's more the proper man to, for her. And she goes pale as a sheet. So the nurse, in leaving, just tells Romeo that um, there is another man that is pursuing Juliet named Paris, uh, but she doesn't like him and that she just really likes Romeo. And Romeo says, nurse, commend me to thy lady. Say good things about me. The nurse says, I a thousand times I shall. Peter, anon, go hence. And they leave. So the nurse is about to go um, help um, Romeo and Juliet get married. So let's go back to our notes. So in this scene, let's go back just a little bit to the beginning. Okay. So um, go to your notes doc and on scene four, we're going to take some notes here. So Mercutio and Benvolio are mad at Romeo ditching them. Um, the nurse arrives and um, try to type a little faster. It will pop up, I promise, when it wants to. There we go. Mercutio and Benvolio are mad at Romeo for ditching them. The nurse arrives and Mercutio and Benvolio mock her and make fun of her. The nurse plans the wedding day with Romeo and they also make a plan Romeo to spend the night with Juliet. Oops. Here we go. After they get married. Okay. Cool. So in scene four, basically what happened was Mercutio and Benvolio, they're mad at Romeo for ditching them uh, to go see Juliet. Add a little bit. The nurse arrives um, and Mercutio and Benvolio mock her and make fun of her. 
the nurse, um, I'm going to say the nurse and Romeo plan the wedding day. And they also make a plan for Romeo to spend the night with Juliet after they get married. Um, the nurse will bring Juliet to the church to get married to Romeo today, later today. Great. Okay. So that is scene four. Um, I'm going to come back and do the next two scenes together because they are pretty short. Um, so the next video will be scenes five and six at the same time. Um, thanks, everybody. And um, please reach out if you have any questions. Awesome job.